Good morning, church. It is good to be with you here today. And today we are looking at 1 Samuel chapter 13, where Saul goes ahead and offers the sacrifice before the appointed time. And we look uh, back, this is the last of Samuel's prophecies that he gave Saul of what would take place to establish him as king. Uh, the others were pretty simple. The guy's going to offer you bread. You're going to take it. Your donkey's already back home. Don't worry about that. But then here is wait. Wait for seven days and I'll arrive. And the situation is looking bleak. The enemy has come in mass. There's huge forces all over the place. The troops are deserting. And the seven days are up. And Saul doesn't know what to do. And so he goes ahead and he offers the sacrifice, seeking the Lord's favor outside of the prescribed route. Now, we should take a huge note from this today that God works on his own time frame. He does not work on our timeline or according to what we think. And if we try to hurry up God or force things into happening when it's not the right time, we're going to mess things up for ourselves not for God. God will bring deliverance or he'll do his plan according to the way that he wants. We can't thwart the plans of God, but we can mess things up for ourselves and put ourselves in a position that God did not want us to be in. Saul is informed the kingship will be stripped from you. It's not going to be yours anymore because you didn't listen. Um, you know, I think about Another time frame issue was Lazarus. Um, the When Jesus heard about it, he delayed a couple days. He finished up what he was doing before he headed out. And Lazarus had been dead four days by the time Jesus arrived. And they kind of chastised Jesus. Lord, if you had just been here, we wouldn't. he wouldn't have died. Uh, Jesus, if you had just showed up on time, this bad thing wouldn't have happened. Do we ever feel like that? We want to talk to God like that? God, if you had just showed up when I needed you. But we have to remember the promise in Matthew 28. I am with you always to the end of the age. The Holy Spirit is sent to us as a comforter. We're never without our Lord, and his timing is always good. Peter says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some consider slackness. And so wherever you are at today, if you're at a difficult road in your life, and if you're at a spot where you're questioning, God, where are you? I really need you. Hold steady. He is not going to delay and providing you the help. Help is, is on the way. You know, um, one last example of this is Daniel. You remember that Daniel started to pray for, uh, for an answer to a vision that he had. And 21 days later, after he had been doing a per particular type of fast, the angel of the Lord appeared, or an angel appeared to give him the message. And he said, I was dispatched the day you started to pray, but I was delayed because of spiritual warfare. Nothing like this is ever said anywhere else. It's, it's pretty odd on its face. But what gives us this reality of one, God answers us when we ask. And two, there are spiritual factors at play. There is spiritual warfare going on. So we don't give up. Jesus says, the one who endures to the end will be saved. So keep on enduring, church. Keep on praying. God has an answer for you. He is there for you. We just simply have to keep believing. Just like Jesus said to Jairus after his daughter had died, and he was despairing. And Jesus says, just believe. Just keep believing, and it will be made well. So that's my encouragement today, church. Just keep on believing in this good God, and we know that he'll grant us the victory in the end.